Good morning and good Friday to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this good morning Tottenham away. As I said, Friday edition. I hope you guys are all fantastically well and looking forward to the weekend. No Tottenham this weekend, so I can't see it. Have a good <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Just woken up in a good mood today. I don't know why. There's no reason for it. Just I feel, I feel, I think I had a really good night's sleep. Do you care? No, but let's move on. Move on. Let's move on. Guys, um, okay, let's start by order. Uh, for those of you who joined Football Away, there was a sh new show that came out um, with the host, Mari, talking about all things to do with um, with, with, with with world football, really, in general. He's, he covered about just about every topic yesterday. It will be on Wednesday night, 10 p.m. If you missed it last night, head over to Tottenham Away 2. So our second channel will be on that. I, I keep saying it. We will be renaming it really soon. But for now, it's called Tottenham Away 2. Head over to that channel. Check it out. I, I, listen, it's full of... Uh, it was it, Like I said, it covered all the way. Now, mainly to do with the transfer currently happening uh, with, with big players. Not even uh, at the end of their career. A lot of them in the full prime of their career going to um, Saudi Arabia. We spoke about that and they spoke about... Of course, Spurs. There was Spurs conversation in there as well. So, if you missed it, because not many of you would have been aware of that, um, with that that particular show is starting, um, head over. Make sure you smash that like, and you know, give. You know what? For every like that we get for our channel, for me personally, even if you smash a like for this one, it feels like you guys are doing uh, giving giving us a pat on the back um, for providing you hopefully good co good content. Let us know in the comments below. I, I really want to hear the feedback on Football Away and uh, if you enjoyed it or not. Um, and, and, and topics perhaps in future you, you like Mari to cover. Put it all in the comments. And the more feedback he gets from that Football Away, the better. But let's move on to the good morning Tottenham Away, guys. Listen, uh, Vicario signed for, well, signing for Spurs. Uh, medical um, uh, will be happening this weekend. And he will be our number one goalkeeper for next season. Um, many of you, I said in yesterday's video, have asked me what I think of him. Listen, I haven't watched too many of Empoli games. I must be honest with you, I haven't. But the stats, and we'll cover a little bit yesterday in his video, um, again, on this channel, if you check it out. Um, he covered it, so the stats are actually not that bad. But the way I see it is very simple. The, the goalkeeping situation, and it's something that you guys uh, who have known me a long while, for the for the OGs that have been in this, in this um, a part of Tottenham away, would have known I've been speaking about having a new goalkeeper for a long, long while. For the new ones who have just joined us, by the way, welcome, welcome, welcome to Tottenham away. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and we'll hopefully be providing them more. Good moving forward. Um, welcome to the channel, guys, if you're new. But for the OGs that know, as I've been speaking about um, uh, the goalkeeper situation, how I've wanted us to get a new goalie. Um, listen, the way the, the goalkeepers in Italy mainly have to do with shot stopping. There's not, they're not really intensified in, in, in crossing and corners and set pieces in and around the area where the goalkeeper has to, has to come out and command in the way they're doing the Premier League here. So the style of goalkeeping is different. So more shot stopping... You have to really be a good shot stopper in Italy. Um, that's why they're not over keen about having tall goalkeepers in the way that we um, have to have here because a lot of the goalkeepers have to deal with crossing and commanding the area through set pieces and corners. Um, this guy is not a short guy. He's, he's, he's a tall fella, as, as, I, as I, spoke, I spoke about him yesterday. But it's a new league that he's entering. So it's always an element of risk in bringing a goalkeeper that hasn't played football in a Premier League ever. So, I'm not, it's not to say he's going to do bad. We hope that to do good, but it's there. That, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's what we've got to go by. It's, it's whether we, you know, it's, it's, it, we, we hope to do well. And hopefully at 17.2 million, we've got ourselves a top, top quality goalkeeper. But unproven. That's the reality of it. But, 
Let's see what happens next season. But I'm going to come out, and this is more point to this video today. I'm going to come out and out say, out like openly say, I want Madison. Um, Newcastle were the only other team that were really gunning for him. And their focus right now is on Sandra Tonali from AC Milan, who's a box-to-box -box, high on quality and quantity. Is, is Tonali's quality has combining the actual quality with quantity. Newcastle have got themselves a, a really good player and I'm proven in the Premier League for sure, but he has all the attributes to do well in this league. And you guys will see um, just how good this guy is. Um, the, I've, I, I, listen, I've seen him for two, three seasons at Milan. He, it, the, the, that's the beauty of that player. He's combining quality and quantity. He's good at set pieces around the box. Got good shot on him as well. Um, why, do I, why am I mentioning Tonali? Because the focus on Madison from Newcastle is currently not there. They're focused on getting Tonali in. And I think this is the time where we got to really get in there and go and get our man. It's as simple as that. We can't present ourselves with a 50 million bid for both Barnes and, and and Madison, we've got to be real real talk here. We get, we would be getting ourselves a quality, quality player, a proven Premier League player. So we won't have to worry about him succeeding or not because the quality is there. And it's a quality that we desperately need in that final third of the pitch. Imagine how many more goals Kane and even Son would get with someone like him just behind assisting them, feeding them constantly like they will get five six chances on goal per game with someone like Madison Zed. So whilst the focus on Newcastle is easy on signing and getting the Tonali deal done, we have to swoop in and not miss this boat. Um so what if he's on his last year of his contract? You're seeing the amount of seeing money going for transfers and what be, and what now clubs expect uh, players to be bought for. We have just saved ourselves so, so it, given the fact that Raya was going for 40, 45 million, we just saved ourselves 20 million. That's 20 million there that can be put on top of what we were, what, what we was, were planning on putting on Madison, getting the player in. I really do hope, and I'm just, that's why I'm here. I'm out of this saying, I want Madison in. I'm fed up of listening to talks and, and on the paper, we're getting closer, we're favourites, we, we look like we're, you know, we, we, we're the one that Madison wants. Get the deal done, man. Get the deal done. How much do you want? This is the figure. This is get the guy done. Because whilst it's good to get the the, 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 the unproven, the young, the hungry, and all of that, it's good to get established players. Also, it's a way of getting us fans excited for new season. If you sign someone like James Madison, think of the shirt sales that, that's gonna go behind that. Think of the excitement of people finally going to watch with the idea that they're going to see a little bit more quality football under Andrew Postacoglu, something that they have not seen in the last couple of seasons, ideally, but also knowing fully well that part of that quality football will be having Madison in the team. That would be at least something for us to say, you know what, amongst all the problems and all the rubbish that, that we've had to put up with this season, we're starting fresh, we're getting the quality in young players like Udoji, um, quality players like Poro coming in. We've got to get that centre-back uh, situation sorted out by all means. The goalkeeper is now there, unproven, but he has the qualities to do well. Fingers crossed that he does. And then now get the established player, the one that's proven to get in that final third with the likes of Bissouma, who will finally be free of injuries and ready to play whilst we wait for Benzica to provide the quality in midfield. Kulizeski, now officially our player. Son, who hopefully has got his injury problems behind us. And obviously Kane, staying on regardless for another season, whatever happens. We can start now looking forward to next season. But I feel like that Madison signing would be pivotal for me for that and that's why today i'm out here saying i want madison let me know your thoughts in the comments below like comment and subscribe as always for everyone else, come on spurs man let's get this player in come on you spurs